Hello, hello. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. All right, and with that out of the way, chat on. All right, so we have lava, and between episodes, I didn't do much. I just navigated it through the pipe spaghetti that is becoming increasingly al dente beneath our base, and I got it piped up into our smeltery, our artisan tables over here, yes, as well as a little barrel for manual use with our uh, carpenter over here. So, we have infinite lava. How are we gonna use it? Well, the thing that we desperately need right now, more than anything else, is we are going through iron. We keep on, I, I debated on doing another hunting trip into the abyss, but I figure I shouldn't off screen that too terribly much, you know? That, that gets into the realm of doing too much off screen. So, it may be time to move our excavator, move it on over into a new position, and start automating iron. So, 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 so. I think that I'm going to put the excavator on the limonite so that we get iron and nickel coming in. And just well, I shouldn't. I I need two. Uh, I need two silos. Is what I need. Yes, I'm gonna need two silos. So I'm gonna need 100 sheets of sheet metal, as well as eight treated wood fences. Well, what have we got in the store so far? We got four fences. We've got those are steel. So, we need to make some of those treated wood fences. So, we need to make some treated wood. All right. Easy enough. And that's just going to require our creosote, which is our weak spot right now. Hmm. Maybe I should figure out some sort of easy creosote automation. A lazy creosote automation. A semi creosote automation? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll see if this'll do for now. Just for now. Alright, and that should get us some. Yeah. Right now it's like one bucket of creosote oil makes enough treated wood fence if I have enough treated wood in storage. So, thankfully I should have enough sheet metal just in storage. So that's 96, 100. And then just into sheet metal, it goes, and there we go. All right, so that can sit in our bag for just a hot minute. And let's go build it up. So, I'm debating on if... Well, I definitely want at least log storage, yeah. But should the silt be right here? Hmm. Maybe I should put the more immediately useful things, like... Mm. It's not too far away, sitting right here. But yeah, maybe I should put it in order of what I need for production. Maybe I should put it in order of uh, what I'm going to be producing. Yeah, maybe. Let's change our order around a little bit. So, take these three off. So, we'll be producing, and let's put the, yeah, let's put the iron right here. The sooner we have it down, the better. As well as nickel. And, yeah, let's put 
steel next and then put the silt. And if we need to arrange it further, we'll do that then. And I will debate and fuss and finagle with this in private, no doubt, very much. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we need to lay down our fences. So, just like that, I've placed these where the uh, sort of central block would go. And... Just right there. Make sure that we don't lose any... Well, we can lose the cobble. It's okay if we lose cobble. Get on up there. And the first of our storage silos. Exciting news. This is going to be wonderful. It'll feel so good to start getting a proper resource production chain going. And I think that's one more. Yeah, this looks like the right level. I can kind of judge it based on the other silo, which is fun. Get it back to daytime for the sake of thermodynamics. And there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Can I put a piece of iron in there just directly? No. It would need to be imported through some sort of pipe. Such is life. Where are my fence pieces? There they are. So, doop, 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 doop. And doop, doop, doop. Excellent. Exactly how we wanted that to go. This is going swimmingly. And from there, we can just build her up. Buttercup baby. Alrighty then. And at last, the capstone layer. Alright. So. Frickin' hypothermia. So. That is our two silos. Do I want to lay out any of the control mechanisms for them right now? And maybe. Maybe. So, I can't lay out the entire control mechanism for how these things will automatically shut themselves off yet because I don't have any comparators just yet. Is that blood? Eh. Unfortunate. Waste of a bit of blood. Oh well. But I can at least lay out the lines of how it'll work. So I just need a little bit of redstone powder. So the way it'll work is there will be a comparator sitting right here. Gates claim that they can read silos, but they lie, unfortunately. So that'll be... How far will this one go? Because we'll do that. We'll use this to judge how far it'll go. So, and you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll give it about halfway full before it can stop. Yeah, maybe I maybe I should move the cobble gin. Eh. 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 Five, six, seven. That's fine. Yes. So, these will emit redstone based on how full they are. And this is just how far the signal will run before it runs into something. I could move it down to the lower layer if I want it longer. Eh, no, seven is fine. Ah, shoot. I don't think redstone... No, oh, it can. Right, so... When we are able to make some comparators, we'll put them right there. And then when we reach here, we need to make some sort of redstone mechanism to shut this, uh, to shut the system down. And I think that for doing that, I want to do something a little wee bit special. 
I think... Let's get under shelter while I... I think I want to make some redstone cable and connectors. Let's see, no. What is coil of... Coil of redstone wire. Redstone wire coil, okay. And redstone... Wire connector. Excellent. What's that going to cost us? A little bit of terracotta, a little bit of electrum nugget, a little bit of redstone, a little bit of aluminum wire and redstone. All right. I think that um, after... Oh, yes, I did move the metal press just very slightly. I put the connector on that side because I rarely have to walk there. This leaves the tinker table a lot more free. All in all, good position for it. And while testing it to make sure it was connected, I did make a little wire, but neither of them aluminum. That's how it goes. Let's just make a stack's worth. Why not? Because it doubles. Now we can just put away our Precious, lovely, fancy item frames. And we're also going to need a little bit of Electrum. I suppose that since it uses three nuggets, it doesn't matter how many ingots I throw in. It'll still use them all. That's a very convenient thing. Electrum melts pretty fast. Electrum melts pretty fast. Unfortunately, these are still bugsy when it comes to ingots. Sometimes they'll spit multiple times, sometimes they won't. Unfortunate. But if I switch this to using some sort of, like, fluid pump or another... Well, I suppose that if the fluid pumps were just piping into each individual tray, then maybe. But no... That would still not give perfectly even every time. It would only give perfectly even if it were only going into one. Hmm. Inconvenient. So, out of... Let's just give it a couple of stacks. There it goes. I shouldn't need much terracotta, because these connectors, you produce them four at a time, yeah. Well, I'm gonna need a few. I'm gonna need a few. You done, Stampy? You done, Stampy. Alright. And that means we're also gonna need a stack of redstone to get even amounts. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move the excavator off the redstone. Maybe? You know, let's run it for just a little while. Just in order to, um, just in order to get a little bit of redstone ore just built up in case we need more. We still have plenty back in the box from the crusher, but let's, let's get a little bit. Let's get just a little bit of extra. Yeah, let's check on that while we're down in the area. I still need to move this crusher. I'm probably going to use it for the, uh, yeah. Even though this was made for personal use, I'll probably just move that and use it for our iron processing for the moment. Just out of sheer laziness. God, it's always raining and God, it's always freezing. Really need to figure out some sort of cure to that situation. Hmm. Is it getting hazier? I don't think I've turned my render distance down or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Dead day today. That was a depressing Dwarf Fortress stream earlier, too. 
Uh, it's the days when computer wizard is busy. No one to accompany me. Oh, the terror. Aw, oh, I missed a couple. Oh well. It's fine. So, we need redstone connectors. Let's just build as many as it'll give us. And we're also going to need some additional redstone. I should have picked up some more while I was in the area. Oh well. And we're going to need some steak. And that should allow us to make some red coil. Excellent. Couple stacks of it. More than I need. We'll just put one away and one in our bag. So, the way I want this to work is I will use these red wires to transmit the final signal to the stopping mechanism. So, light. Yeah, we might as well lay these out. Now, the lovely thing about redstone wire is... A, it'll transmit the signal over infinite distance, like you would expect from any old basic redstone improvement cable. But, in addition to that, it can carry multiple signals. No, that's shift-click. Yes. Multiple different signals. Quite a few of them. So... Uh... We're also going to want to start running a proper utilidor system down directly into these. So, I guess let's start by just connecting these all together. And let's see here. I guess that the best point for utilidor... Well, no, I want it to be all the way down at the end here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that way we can just run it on down the line that way, going that way. Let's actually, in fact, start running that. So... Uh, I'm also going to need the excavator. Just start running tunnel. And let's see if we can find our existing utilidor anywhere. Well, what do you know? Ah, yes, you'll notice that I also dug the utilidor a little bit deeper. That was in the hopes of making it traversable without the armor. It was a no-go. It would have to be a little bit deeper than this to make the ceiling fully OSHA compliant. I'm definitely not throwing out any of this precious sand we're mining up right now. Eh. I can throw out the sugar cane. Oops, not the sand. Just the sugar cane, the dirt, the lumps of clay, the dross. Yeah. Well, let's use the dirt as construction blocks real quick. Let's just see if I can eliminate this water. Yeah, that's a bit better. Alright, so... Uh, I should have marked where the first of the silos is going to be. I should also, before I forget, make sure that this area is completely lit and light it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yep, the lag spikes are still present. They are just lessened. All right. So, 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 so. Yeah, the cobble gen pokes into it a little bit. It's fine. Alright. So, how do we run our redstone cable into here? I suppose that if you, the utilidor is here, 
then we can run a pass-through right down here, right? And if I take my hammer... Yeah, that works just fine. All right. Remove. And keep on going down. All right, all right, all right. So now, if I connect that to there, we can start running that down to where the signals need to go. So, and in fact, I could I could show off the now. Nah, I would want to move the storage more. All right, all right, all right. So, eh, you know what? Let's. Let's first of all get rid of our sand before I forget that I want to preserve it. And just throw out the change. Let's make a little... Let, let's completely enclose in the Utilidor. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of run over just a little bit with Celtic as default. Eh, it doesn't need to be. I could I could dictate that, say, Utilidor top as this as its default. Yeah. That's decent. No, I don't want to lower the roof just here. No, actually I do, I do. Yeah. Because that's going to get it down to the level that the Utilidor is at. Well, what level is the Utilidor at? Utilidor is down at this level, right? Yeah, that's the ground level of the island. So we'll just wall it off right on there. It's fine. It's a blank damn sample anyway. All right. And there we go. Yeah. This is... It's going to have a bunch of pipes and item entities and stuff like that, so we might as well try and keep it from rendering whenever possible. At the slight cost of ease of accessibility. I suppose I could just dig a entrance into the side or something. There we go. And yeah, if I put a staircase on there, it'll be fine. Yeah. Oops. Not Mr. Bucket. All right. So, from there, going to need to be a little bit careful with how we run our cable down. And from there, yeah, we can just take it all the way on back into the Utilidor proper. These things run the same distance as normal HV cables. Let's put it on the next level lower, just to, just so it never, mm, never clashes with the HV cable. So yeah, redstone cabling. Redstone cabling, that'll be how we control our devices. Next. I want item pipe. Oh, wait. 
this is on the maintenance level, so it needs glowstone. Just so that it never clashes with the pipes and stuff like that. So, 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 where is the silo line? If I dig under these... But these are not, in fact, the first. This is, in fact, the first. So, I want to make sure that I know that these are where the silos going to go. We're also going to need some diamond pipe. It's a good thing we just picked up some more sand. Wait, this is not the... Why are you... Let's, uh... Just for now. I'll debug the lighting later. Probably in private. So that you don't have to put up with it. I am streaming, right? Yeah. Stream is public, right? Hold on. Yeah, stream Hold is on. public. Just no one showing up today. Well, that's okay. It happens. It happens. So, need a couple diamonds. Let's just... Make a few. Oh, I had some glass in storage already. That's fine. So, 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 so. From the Utilidor, we're probably going to be running pipe, I don't know, on, let's run it on floor level, yeah, yeah, move this torch, hello computer wizard, good to have you back at last, it's been lonely in here. So we are just setting up our uh, logistics and transport network right now. I have created a, uh, a redstone cable line that will be what the silos use to shut themselves off and potentially will give us manual override powers. Yep, a lonely day. It's fine. I am used to filming these on my own after all. But... It's always good to have company. So we're gonna need pipe plugs on these. We don't want this going over the cobble line. Just right there. And uh, yeah, let's immediately run this over the cobble line too, just so that we get it out of the way right away. All right, so. The item insertion line will be running down this way, so I think that it'll just be a diamond pipe right beneath each one determining where the items go. And from there, just pipe down to there. Yep. That'll do. That'll do. Oops. Oops. My pickaxe is slightly too fast for my own good, even with no redstone on it. Let's make that a little bit less jank. There we go. That'll do. So, I need samples of what is going to be stored. Uh, so, what's got you so busy today, Computer Wizard, if you don't mind me asking? Oh. Uh, so I need nickel. I need iron. Well, it happens. It happens. It's okay. I'm just glad you found your way here sooner or later. So. 
So, that right now is going to be nothing. This, on the other hand, no wait, diamond should be on this level, yeah. Well, it do be that way sometimes. It do be that way sometimes. So, there and there. Also, should use some iron pipes on this level so everything keeps on flowing one way. Yeah. No, it doesn't necessarily need to. It doesn't necessarily need to. So, it'll be... Just like so. And then iron white on this one. Nickel white on this one. Ah. Well. Yeah, if you can put a quest pack in that, I really enjoy myself some quest packs. My main problem with vanilla Minecraft is I find after a while I have no direction. I like having a definite goal, you know? Oh, yeah, you forgot the Tuesday night is game night? It happens. Well. Let's put some of our tools away, too. All right. So, I'm just going to need a lot more gold cable, probably. But, now that we have kind of the base of our extraction and logistics system laid out... We should have enough redstone saved up that I won't feel bad moving the moving the system. Yep. We just shut that up. Yeah, we've got lots of cinnabar built up. Excellent. So if we need more redstone, we can just make it in our crusher that we're about to move. So, 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 we can get rid of that cobble, put our excavator away. Let's put the redstone cable connectors and stuff in our logistics bag. And I should put those ingots away, but that's probably enough. Let's get out a box, just reduce the logistics further. So, we're going to start by moving our crusher, trusty, rusty crusher. We're going to be using that for our iron processing. And yeah, we should have enough redstone in storage. The thing is that I want iron now. I want iron yesterday. I keep on having to go into the abyss to hunt iron. I want to stop doing it. We have a lever? Sure. All right, so there's all that in the storage. Next time to move the excavator, move the old scabby. Well, whenever you work on it, take your time, man. Do it right. Do it right, and you'll do right by us. All right. All right, Mr. Scabby, let's get you moved. Oh, it's such a big, chufty fellow. Into the box you all go. Those Minecraft days are going faster and faster, ain't they? C 
seems that I'm almost spam clicking my amulet in order to pass the time in the day and keep it from killing me at night. Just from sheer temperature difference. Alright. Into the box. Into the punishment box. Huzzah! Alright, and that should be everything. One less pass, make sure that I didn't leave anything on the ground. Just look it over. And we'll leave the box of Cinnabar there, just in case we need it. But in the meantime... Just store up everything. Cool. Alright, so let's find where that... Limonite, I think it's called. I don't think I kept that sample anywhere. Silt is very tempting right now. I can't, I want silt, but no, I want iron even more. So where is that iron deposit? Somewhere around here, isn't it? There's a hematite deposit that I saw. No mineral. Limonite. And that is, in fact, what we want, right? If I search up limo, then uh, uses crusher. Yep, that'll give us iron and nickel at 100% ratio, too. So, we really. Ah, okay. It's convenient that we have already run Utilidor down here, too. So, 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 so. Where does the crusher output, anyway? Or the excavator, rather. And let's see here. Machine. There's a view that gives you the completed machine, doesn't it? Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so... It's on the back that it outputs. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's lay out our crusher first. Let us lay out the crusher. Oops. Yes, and that outputs on the same side as the redstone block, so remember that. Play? Ah, there we go. Pause. So... That side will be the redstone block, which is where I'll want output, so that should be closer to the utilidor. So, it's going to need 10 scaffolding, redstone, 10 light. 10 scaffolding, redstone, 10 light. I know that's also going to be using the steel fence, the hoppers. And that's it. Okay. So... Where do we want... You know, this is probably the best place for it. Yep, right here. So, facing just this way. Let's make sure... Yep, just like this, I think. So that's... Two rows, then... Yep. In two of these. Continue on. Surround that layer. And then... Three more. Yep. And that'll lay out the scabby boy, the crushy boy right there. Its footprint. So next, light in the center and down there, redstone next to it, fences surrounding it, and it was just the remaining three right up there, yep, with the hopars all facing downward, 
right on top. And that should be it. Yep, there it goes. So, we'll be putting a chest in my logistics bag. On thar. And a little bit of simple logic on this one. We will simply say, take a structure pipe off of it. And take two gates a little bit of wire, and say that this gate, it'll just have to be right there. Okay, on bottom side, if you contain 75%, then emit blue. On down the line. And on this side, when not blue, in other words, when it is more than 75% full, emit redstone. And that will shut the crusher off so it doesn't overfill the chest. And so it doesn't run unnecessarily. Next, we need a... Just down into here. Convenient that we already had an entrance into the Utilidor, even just completely dug. Down into here. Do I have any extraction pipes? Yes, I do. So, that will be ultimately where we have... Re you know what? Hmm. No, let's have it shut off just by the simple expedience of when it's full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where was I running the uh, logistics pipe? We can turn this off for now. Let's see here. There. So it's running down that wall. I am going to need way more pipe. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. This isn't the end of the processing line. Yeah, no, I want to sort in ingot form, not in ore form. So, never mind. Never mind. Honestly, I should probably have it facing the other way, then. Yeah, I forgot I'm going to need a smeltery, too. Hmm. How much more space is there in this chunk? Honestly, not much. Hmm. Especially not if we're going to be... Maybe I should have started it from the excavator. Instead of the crusher. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, baby. How much does the excavator... Yeah... That's big. Okay, remind me, where does its output exist on the back? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's let's lay it out and let's see. Let us layer out. So, definitely want to start the back end of it, like, right here-ish. Yeah. So that's going to be our sheet metal and our scaffolding. As well as a redstone block. No, wait, not a redstone. Uh, as well as our radiator blocks, yeah. Okay, so, starting from here, radiator, sheet metal, 
radiator, sheet metal. And a single light engineering block as well. Where did the uh, where did the box go? I should have picked up everything from the box, shouldn't I? Box isn't in my inventory. Is that's the box? That's the box. Okay, and from there, un du toi. Yeah, that should leave enough room in the chunk for the, uh, I think it's only the center block of the excavator's arm that even counts in terms of excavation anyway, so. So, so, so. Da, 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 da. Next, Scabby Boy's second layer. That just continues on up the layer. Let's see here. So redstone on top of that. I should just pick up everything in there. Yep. Redstone on top of that. Heavy next to it. And... Light. Overdar just continuing up on the line. And it's going to be heavy on that side, light on that side. Okay. Just like so. And then... Hello, 12th Century Fox. Lovely to see you here. Heavy right in the middle there. We are setting up Automated iron. Isn't that a wonderful thought? Okay, so then all the ska, all the sheet metal, I should say, yeah. Hopefully at one point I'll reduce enough that I can actually walk around at proper speed. So, third layer. Heavy on the top. Sheet metal. And then last the light, the last the sheet metal. Was that sheet metal all the way down? Yep. Oops. I got unexpectedly bamboozled by the sudden speed boost. So it goes. And then those two radiator blocks. And that should chunk correctly. Yep, there it goes. Scavy Boy has been moved. Now, now we need to figure out how we're gonna do this. So that's da da da. Yep, Scavy Boy is completely within the norms of how you would expect it to be laid out. Now we're just going to have to dig under it. Yep. So, that is the central one, right? Yep. Continue digging under. It does not matter if the excavator actually touches ground. It can be a windmill. Shooping resources out of the sky for all it cares. Excavator, do not give a dang. You know that? It's not right, is it? So that's... Ah, uh, shoot. I should have built the damn wheel first. The wheel is always the hardest damn part of this thing. Okay, so. Okay, 
just start fresh. So two, and then that there, and then like that, right. Okay. And then like, that oh what you doing what vile plans are you cooking up oh evil one yeah we should move that pipe just in the meantime. All right, so that should, yep. And then, yep. Okay, Scavy Boy is down. So, we're gonna need to obviously put a chest on him. And let's, clean out our inventory a little bit. Mm. That is not particularly evil, computer wizard. That is just standard practice as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it is a bucket excavator. Search up pictures of those. They are awesome devices in real life. They look basically like gigantic chainsaws used for just ripping up the land. It's beautiful. All right, so then, yeah, I think I'm gonna wanna change how the, how the crusher is laid out. I'm gonna wanna have this facing the side. Yep. Should have started with the scabby boy. I was being a fool. Foolish, foolish me. Shoot. That was the wrong block. Oh well. No wait, no it wasn't. So what was it that I saw? Get unmul- It was the pump jack. It was the pump jack. No, wait. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Well, this is why we have too many things in one chunk. All right, so... I am a spying that this was wronged and that this was wronged and that should be it yeah there we go slight disruption but minimal all right so next crushy boy Needs crushy boy. It's unfortunate that everything is so... Well, you know, it kind of works. Yeah, it, it'll kind of work for inputting into the crushy boy. So, crushy boy, remind me again, how do we build you? Uh, where's all the fence? I don't have all the fence. Did I lose a piece of fence? Anywhere? Did it maybe fall in one of these hoppers? These hoppers are all full. Well, that's anomalous. It's okay, it's a steel fence. It's relatively cheap. We'll just go pick up a new one. I guess while I'm doing that, I need to make myself a smeltery anyway. 
Yeah, where's our where's our box? Let's shove everything back in the box until we can uh, get completely and properly set up. With apologies for the derp as usual. I guess levers are kind of logistics adjacent. All right. And just, I'm going to throw out the LV cable. Keep Flint, though. Flint is relatively precious at the moment, simply because it cannot be automated and it is used in a bunch of things. All right, so there's a crusher mostly in a box. Just needs one last fence. And... So, just a little side smeltery. That also means I'm going to need to run lava pipe down there, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get to it. We will get to it. So. Got lost on my own base for a moment there. So. Where am I keeping flint? Um... I think I was keeping it in pyrotech adjacent stuff. Smell tar. We're gonna need a bunch of seared brick. I should have a bunch of uh, seared brick blocks already somewhere in here. Yeah, seared stone. But I don't have a whole lot of actual seared bricks, do I? So need to melt that down. Let's take our... How many slots do I have in my bag? I have enough. So let's... Da, 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 da. That should be enough. And let's just compress that down to smelt it a little bit faster. And in you go. So. Right, the controller is on this side. Just chunk it on into there. Get this thing set into ingot mode. And while that's pouring, we'll get making the furnaces we need to make for the controller. So, to make the controller... We're going to need to make a melter. And that's going to need a seared heater, which needs four furnaces. So... Can this pour yet? Not yet. So, so, so. We're gonna need four tinder. And we're gonna need a bunch of masonry bricks. Might need to make more, but that's real easy right now. How about now? Not yet. So, 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 so. I also have a bunch of pulp in here. Yeah, we can just immediately chunk this up into pulp. We're going to need a lot. Let's go ahead and make some more masonry bricks. I know I'm going to need more than just one stack. Let's make a couple. I made this fancy automation system for the kiln anyway. We might as well get some use out of it, huh? How you doing? There you go. So. Next, let's start making masonry bricks. So how many am I exactly going to need for four furnaces? Or for rather, I should say... Yeah, well, let's just go down the line. Refractory oven, stone oven... 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight. Oh, well, I'm, I, I, I'm overdoing it, but it's worth overdoing. Make enough that we won't need masonry bricks again for a little while. So it's looking like two more stacks should be enough. There we go. So, make all those. Yeah, that's more than enough. That's fine. It's worth having a little bit extra. And didn't I... Yeah, I only need four. So then... One, two, three, four of those to make the first step. The stone ovens. Good. We can just store those in here, too. So, next I'm gonna need 16 refractory bricks, right? So, just there, there, there. Exacto mundo enough. All right. 16 iron. Yeah, we need to automate iron soon. We needs it. We needs it, precious. So, 5, 10, 15, 20 cobble, and 12 more iron. And 20 cobble. So, there's the really hard part done. Now, I'm also going to need to throw, like, 12 dirt into the smeltery. Just in order to make those dirt bricks. For the melter. Or, rather, yeah, for the controller. So, then I'm just going to need a bunch of flint clay in the mason's workshop. As well as a bunch of this seared brick. Sweet. So let's just take that into our bag. Because seared bricks weigh a lot. And move on down over here. We're also going to need a piece of glass. I think I can use clear glass for this. No, wait, we're going to need two seared tanks. Yeah. All right, so down to Mr. Mason. So, we're gonna need un and do seared tanks. Can I use clear? I'd better, because that's Tinker's glass. <laughs> so, controller, melter. Just gonna need that seared furnace. So I'm gonna need a bunch of the flint clay. I have a bunch of the flint clay. Good. Let's just put that in there for now. So... And then I'm just going to need... That should be it, right? Smelter, seared heater. There we go. All right. So now, melter. And that's that. All right. And then I just need the dirt and some seared bricks for the smelter. So we'll just take those. We will immediately chisel them. And into seared bricks they go into the bag you all go yeah uh rugget or however it's pronounced is nowhere i i'm i can build nowhere near that impressively but uh we can try we can try to match his majesty with sheer numbers. Beautiful, tasty dirt ingots. Mmm. Wonderful. All right. 
And I way overdid it on seared bricks, but eh, we'll build enough to last us a little while. We will be building more smelteries after all. So, next controller. All right, needs some bricks as well. And there it goes. All right, so. Let's put down... Ah, uh, yes, we're also going to need... Uh, I think I'm probably going to need two drains. So let's just put down our smeltery in a box over here. I might need more bricks than that. But it's fine. So next, let's just migrate all our bricks over just into here. This is kind of the brick box, I guess. And there we go. We have a little production smeltery. Oh, shoot. We're going to need a second one for the nickel. We are going to need a second one for the nickel because we can't put them both in the same smeltery. They will alloy. So, you know what? Let's turn this pour off. Let's make sure that we have exact change. And then let's turn it back on to block mode because, yeah, we are going to need more seared brick. That's going to take a little while. But let's also throw in 12 more dirt to get us a second controller. All right. Well, it's always lovely having you here, Computer Wizard. Thank you for stopping by. Let's. All right, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need four more furnaces. So yeah, maybe it is a good thing we made so much damn masonry brick. Uh, where is it anyway? Maybe it is a good thing that we overbuilt. So gonna need just that on in there and yeah that should make more than enough again there we go aha uh -huh. hello well I'm glad to have you listening 12th century fox and feel no obligation to speak I'm more or less doing this just for the sake of doing it anyway you know might as well stream it if I'm doing it so live if I'm trying to minimize the amount of editing that I do and stuff like that. Might as well. Not quite enough brick. Not quite enough. Well, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. There we go. And then make our four of those and throw everything back in the chest. And I am going to need to make more refractory brick, but thankfully, all the ingredients up for it are kind of already laid out because we overbuilt it last time. So, just make two stacks of balls right away, two stacks of bricks right away, and immediately go and smelt them. Good and good. All right. How's this doing on fuel? It's doing okay. Alright, get me my delicious refractory bricks. Just in my pocket. That's good enough for now. Alright. More pulp. And look, it looks like we just built just enough. Make 16 bricks. And also it should be time to pour the dirt out of the smeltery. Yep, it's looking like 
that's going just to fine. All right, and now put it back into seared brick mode. Or rather, seared block mode. Whatever you want to call it. All right, 16 more iron, as well as 12 more iron for the final furnace craft. Oof, we are running on tight margins on the iron. It's coming down to the wire. Can we automate it in time? Okay, there's our four furnaces. And let's just grab a couple stacks of the bricks once more. As well as a couple pieces of glass to make more tanks. And I'm going to need... No, actually, I think that's exactly enough flint clay in there. So... Now, into here, we make two seared tanks. We make a seared heater. We make a melter. And we make... Ah, right, we need the bricks. Well, let's just grab those out of here. And then we make our second controller. Alrighty then. So, that is most of the parts for two smelteries laid out. It's just going to need a few more bricks, probably. Yep. A few more blocks, I should say. Brick blocks, yes. Well, well, we'll just have those kind of going in the background. We'll pick them up when we'll pick them up. Into the box you go. Now, how am I doing on pipes while I'm back in base? I should make some more gold pipe. I need to make more gold. Thankfully, we have lots of blocks of gold still in storage. But yeah, automating gold should be on the short list too. Automating a lot of things is on the short list, really. Let's just make two stacks of pipe. Because I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to make a lot of fluid pipes, too. Yeah. And you can never have enough... You can never have enough transport pipe. Overbuilding it is never a mistake. All right, so... Let's uh, head on over, and let's start... Right! The whole reason I came back in the first place, I need to pick up a steel fence... I should have some in storage. Yep, right there. For that one that went mysteriously missing. Alrighty then. And here we are back at the site. So let's take out our newly no longer missing pieces crusher and get crushy boy all laid out yep all pieces confirmed so where do i want the output on this um i'm probably going to put the smelters like i don't know right here ish so can we lay it out on its side, facing this way? Is that a thing that is possible? 
Where's the output on this again? It's on that side. So... If we lay it out like so... Then that should work. So... Like here... No, let's, let's build this from the front back. Let's build this like... Right. Let's make our output like right here. Yeah. So then scaff and a three. And then... Scaff all around like so, right? Right. Okay, so then redstone and light up on the top over there. And then a light in the center and these three right here, if I recall correctly. Which I seem to. And then it's just the fences and the hoppers. So, just right on up there. Like so. And then I just need to take my hammer. And that should... Yep, okay, so... Now we can kind of link these together. Link it with the excavator a little bit. Just put an output chest right here. I'm gonna need more chests. So... So, 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 so... Actually, I think I want to yeah maybe I want to put some block and redstone on there so that I can also control the system with the lever no no let's not let's not let us not how about no so 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 I just need to First of all, get diamond pipe off of there and just right on into the crusher. This really is perfectly placed for output at least. And then I'm going to need some structural pipe off of the system here off of this chest and that should allow me so I'm gonna want some ore gates on this one and on this one and finally on this one. Nope, not on that one. Not on that one, please. Ugh. If I got a wrench, would that remove gates without removing pipe? I forget if that behavior exists. Alright, so next I'm gonna need the two colors of pipe wire that I have on me. They're not the only two colors that exist. So, blue line will go all the way down to the crusher. And that will say, when you contain less than 75%, emit blue. And then white line will go across from the thing facing the chest on the excavator 
And that will say when complaint when containing less than 75. No, I could just also say emit blue on it. Yeah. Could do. Could do. Could do that. Emit blue, yeah. And then I just say when not blue, emit redstone on the excavator. But when blue on here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I could run another single piece of structural pipe this way, and that'll allow me to squirrel the blue wire over onto here and just cross it over onto the diamond pipe here. And then I can put a pulser on it. And that will say when... Oop, no. That'll have a gate on it. That'll say when blue signal pulse pipe. So, what this will mean is that the crusher is essentially controlling the excavator. When the output box of the crusher is full, it will shut off the output feed from the excavator's box, as well as the excavator itself. Also, as a backup, if the excavator's ore box is full, it will shut off the system as well. Actually, no wait, that's prone to jamming, isn't it? Yeah, because then if the excavator's ore box is full, then, okay, so it does need the second color of, of uh, wire. Okay, so if excavator box is full, emit white. And if, if not blue, no, wait, if, yeah, okay, if less than 75% emit white, and while not blue and while not white, or if not blue and if not white, you meant red. Yes, good, good, good. Excellent. All right, okay. That should work. And technically that's enough to work on its own right now just if I want excavation going, so we can test fire that. So, where's the power system on this thing? It's on the other side, isn't it? It do. All right. Well, that's okay. That is okay. The Utilidor cares not. It can tunnel under. So. Power there. Power there. And then sneak into the Utilidors. So. Da, 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 da. Where's that going to run? Ceiling level of the Utilidor is right here, right? Yeah. So that means it's actually going to have to be lowered down. Oh, there's already a, a line running over there. So if I just dig that down... Then... Yeah, right there. Dig that right there. Run it on over. Just like so. And then I probably need to fetch some, like, cobble or some sort of building block. I really should be carrying building blocks on me. Which is probably something I'm just going to have to say repeatedly until I finally do it. Which means I should do it now. Yep, let's go fetch just a little bit of building block. We aren't exactly a long way from the base. And... Just two stacks of it for now. Let's immediately chisel it into something prettier. Uh, what, what, what did I pick as the Utilidor ceiling? I picked tiles, didn't I? Yeah. 
That'll do. And put away all our tools that we were kind of getting clogging up our bag to. Come on. I swear, the weight system these days is only working when I haven't put all the stuff in my pants. When I've put it into its, its proper place, then it decides that it needs to uh, enact itself. Rude, I tells ya. I think the excavator will get some of these, but that's okay. Okay, the utilidor is still properly lit. The ceiling of it, however, up on the floor level is not. So let's just right there. So if I place an HV wire connector here, that can immediately just act as a pass through. That was right here, right? Hamar, where is Hamar? Yeah, that's a pass through. All right, so then we can just run our relay just a little bit further. Hmm. Okay, so we need to Yeah, I can run relay right down there, right? Get my HV cable out. Into thar. Yeah, that connects. That connects just fine. So let's also... Because, yeah, that won't be the last of it. Run relay there. Into pass through there. And then pass through to Scavy Boy. And that immediately begins running. And that, yeah, running it without the crusher, this will also test. What the heck? Why you stop? Oh, you stop because we're out of power, aren't we? Yeah, I'm not running the diesel gen right now. Let's make sure everything is appropriately lit in the area. Oh, no, wait, that won't properly test if the box is full because the crusher is basically a uh, black hole storage system, kind of. It has more or less unlimited storage. So actually, yeah, I think I can do another pass through like right there. And that should be able to connect. Ah, uh, no, I can't do another pass-through there. Can I do another pass-through here? Like if I put it here? Is that the spot? Here? There? None of those are the spot? Maybe it was there, there, or there. There it was. But that's probably too steep of an angle. Yeah, too steep. Okay, never mind. So I need to extend this wall one space further, looking like. So that I can put another pass-through up on the top side. to run Mr. Crushy. Right there, that'll do it. So, let's just immediately give that cable. No point in dawdling. And then that's right there, right? No. It's right there? Where is it? It's 
right there. Excellent. Okay, so now if I go and turn my diesel generator on, then we should have some action happening. All right, Scabby Boy is running. It looks like it nabbed a piece of sand. That's okay. Yep, it's nabbing some sugar cane, some dross. It's just digging its way down to an appropriate level. But eventually it should be... Yep, yeah, there's the limonite. And there it goes immediately into the crusher. Excellent. So, pretty soon here, we're going to see if this thing shuts off when it should. Alrighty then. Put all that wonderful garbage away. And... Yeah, this is filling up the box fast. It's already made two stacks of iron and nickel ore. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want control on the excavator as well. Yeah. All right, so I need my pipe and gate. I can just run that right off of there, I think. So if I run this up over... Then put gate on here, wire on down the line. And I say, if not receiving blue signal, then emit redstone. You are emitting redstone, why are you not? That, that should turn the system off, not on. Why is it in constant crush mode? That's not how the crusher works. Redstone should turn it off. Yeah, okay, that shut it off. That was bizarre. I thought the crusher worked differently. Okay, so now, if I link the blue wire in, it should turn back on. No? Okay, what's going on? Inverted. Not inverted. Okay. Then let, let's try that. Huh. What is the problem with you, redstone controller? Is the problem that you don't like you don't like receiving it from the gate? What's going on? Okay, so if I do I have a lever on me? Okay, so the excavator at least has stopped. That's good. You know, maybe it should be controlled by the excavator anyway. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it, trying to turn the crusher off. But now I'm curious that why wasn't it accepting redstone from a gate? At least not seemingly anyway. So if I put a dot of redstone down there, then can I control it with a gate? Just so that the gate is emitting onto the redstone rather than onto the uh, redstone controller. So let's just say, 
emit redstone, yes. And then if I take a little bit of stuff out of the box so that the excavator is running again, yeah, that shuts it off. And meanwhile, if I turn it, yeah, okay, so that works. That works. So then I just need to run my wire over once more. And say, wind blew off, emit redstone, yes. Okay, cool. So that's running. So, when the excavator's output box is full, the excavator and the crusher will turn off. Behavior confirmed and debugged. Excellent. Now we need to lay out a two smelteries. One for iron, one for nickel. Let's just continue flattening the land, I guess. These will probably be two relatively small smelteries. Or at least they'll be skinny but tall. Yeah, that's more likely. Digging on the beach is such a pain with the way that the sand behaves. Alright, so let's get our smelteries in a box. And let's decide where we want to lay these out. So, start with our two controllers. Let's lay out one, I don't know, here, and one here. Yeah, no, two more apart. Like so, make the split a bit easier. Yeah, because then if I run a transport pipe out here, I can then... No, wait, I need to run two transport pipes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it needs to individually see make sure that the smelteries are not full. So... Uh, that's a bit awkward, actually. Let's test that. I should have a wrench on me, shouldn't I? I don't have a wrench. Oh, well. So, if I take gate... And put it on this part of the structural pipe. Uh, need construction blocks because my damn pickaxe is too fast for my own good. On this side, and say, if below 75% emit blue, then I can take this off without any problem. And move that structural pipe over. Just like so. That's a bit more efficient anyway. Yeah, just completely rewire this whole thing. Don't waste wire. And then that's laid out nice and neatly. All right. And from there, we can take an extraction pipe specifically for, let's make this one the iron, filter it to iron, and another extraction pipe, which I forgot to take out of my bag, explicitly for nickel, over there, and that should be good. And we can just run those on right on over into Nya and into Nya. And give those gates and pulsers. As well as gates on that side. Are these and? Yeah, these need to be AND gates. These actually need to be AND gates. Well, the the ones on the uh, the ones on the um, smelter can be whatever I want, but the ones leading into the extraction pipe need to be AND gates. 
Oops. Wrong side. There. So, and gates. Two of them. And then back on our extraction, and these can be any old thing. So, next I need my pipe wire. Leading from here on, oops, oh well. On up, and leading from there on down. And that won't read properly until we complete the multi-block, will it? Oh, it will? Okay, fine. Emit blue. If left in 75. But yeah, that won't emit until it actually works. So we can actually, yeah, we can actually uh, put pulsers on the pipe because it won't activate until I complete the multi-block anyway. Because yeah, these things ain't emitting any signal right now. So wind blue pulse. Wind blue pulse. All right, and from there we can take a break to lay out the smeltery multi-block a little bit. So where is the box? There is the box. What's in the box? Smelteries. Smelteries are in the box. As well as severe dehydration. All right, so what do I want the footprint on these to be? Four deep? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Tall but skinny. That's the friendly way for the chunks. All right, then. Right, and it won't count as a valid multi-block until we put tanks on. Just build these up nice and tall, I think. Yeah, I wasn't really counting how tall that is. Uh, I guess that when we complete the multi-block, we'll see. So if I just put a tank on here, that should complete. Yep, and it's beginning to pump. So that's three... Nine, eighteen, twenty tall. Hmm. Smelting twenty at a time? Making forty iron at a time? Eh. Yeah, that should pump out at an okay rate in terms of liquid. And yes, the limitation is uh the limitation factor on that is working correctly. Good. So then and lay these out like so. Then that should not mesh with the other smeltery at all. Ah, I'm gonna need more drains, aren't I? Yeah, I definitely am. Four, like so. Then we can place those, place those, just like so's, and then just like there, and that should allow it to goes to... Three. Ah, uh, the pump jack is in the way of this. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Well, we need to move the pump jack. 
that's just the unfortunate fact of the matter, is the pump jack will need to be moved. The real unfortunate fact of the matter is we are packing too much stuff into one damn chunk. I should just accept the fact that this is going to need to be a two-chunk system. But no, we've committed to this stupidity, and so we shall make it happen. All right, and then a tank right down there should complete the multi-block. And just like that, we should see it's emitting blue and thus receiving items. Good. Good, good, good. Now next, I'm going to need to put that pump jack away. I'm going to need to put drains on the front here. Because that will allow the system to read the tank level of these things. Because we're also going to be limiting it based on how full the liquid tank inside of it is. Wait. You're pulling iron. You're full of iron. There, now that's correct. That just was pulling iron for some reason. Oh, I forgot to filter that. Well, it's a good thing that we double and triple check our system, isn't it? And it's a good thing this doesn't actually have lava in it just yet. Alrighty then, so... Iron smelter, nickel smelter, properly sorted through. Next, we need to get two more drains, build a proper casting system for them, and we are going to need to pipe our ingots back and pipe our lava out. As well as link in the limiting system from our silos. And possibly make a manual control lever for this. Okay. Diesel gen, you can be off for now. Because it's not quite running the system just yet. Alrighty then. So, 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 so. Uh, let's throw out the little bits of the sandbar we picked up. Throw the sand into the system. Ah, shoot, I forgot to put bits of the pump jack away. There's where the flint was going. All right. So we're going to need some more drains. Two more drains, in fact. And we're going to need a bunch of casting tables. Let's see here. I think six on each one should be more than enough. Bunch of casting tables, I said. 10, 11, 12. And we're also going to need 12 ingot casts. So that's just going to be... Do I have any aluminum brass in storage? Eh, no, it's fine. Let's just use gold. So, throw 24 gold into our smeltery. Mm -hmm. 
put 12 seared bricks in our pocket and go over to the old master caster here and start getting ready to cast out some ingot casts. There we go. Now, how am I doing for pipe pulsers? Uh, I'm running low, but I should have enough to do this. No, I'm going to need one more. Well, that's a relatively simple cast. Simple task, I should say. Let's... Just make all that we conveniently can at the moment. So I'm first going to need to make some pistons. Just over in here. Piston. Come on. Come on, JEI. Stop lagging on me. I think it's mostly when I do JEI searches that it lags. So JEI is probably the thing that needs optimization the most here. Okay, casts achieved. Next. All right, I'm also gonna need nine more wood. as well as a bunch of sticks. Let's just make a bunch of the gears. And red engine. Just make a bunch, yep. And there we go. And from there, we just need to drag a little bit more iron over to the lasers. We're out of fuel? Question mark? What the heck? We've been running the diesel engine the whole time. I think the distillery tower's off. Did we suck the oil well dry? Okay, pump jacks. Yeah, pump jacks are on. Or rather, they're not deactivated. Oops, shoot. Pump jacks are on. Turn diesel engine on. They're not running. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's, let's just... Let's confirm it. Let's confirm it. If I take my uh, core sample drill, I should be able to just think that needs a block to sit on. Just any old block should do, a piece of cobblestone. So if I put that thar and that thar, yep, do me a core drill please. Okay. Oh boy, no fluid reservoir. We have sucked this entire teat dry. Oh boy. Oh boy, howdy. Okay. Well, that's a project on the list. We're going to have to move those pump jacks right quick because we have already run through like quite a lot of diesel fuel today. Well, I suppose that... We do have the other tank right here, and to my knowledge, there is no crafting use for diesel. And I regret putting a tank for diesel up on the base here. So we could reverse the pipe, start draining this back into the system, and just let that run dry before we start producing more. And that'll give us quite a while. With the fact that I'm about to automate iron, and we're starting to look at automating more resources, 
that could give us enough time until we start making a biodiesel industry. Could. What I'm wondering is where did all my light fuel go? I wasn't running the lasers for anything. And that should be the only power draw on this. Is it just a rendering error? No, it's empty. Huh. Bizarre. Because, yeah, these, these ain't running. They are running. Do they continually draw fuel even if they aren't actually pumping out power? That's not good. Okay, I might need to make a, a gate control on these then. Regardless, in the meantime, let's... Ah, yeah, that immediately made pulsers really fast. Really fast. That requires a tiny amount of laser power to turn redstone engines into pulsers. Okay, so... This is worrying. In the meantime, let's take the redstone blocks off of these engines. I really thought that this only... I thought that these engines only used fuel when they actually needed to. So I could just leave these activated. But no. We're going to need to make a more intelligent control system on this. And I don't know if gates can read, like, the assembly table or anything like that. I guess we could take a look real quick. I won't automate this now, now. Not unless it proves to be really easy. Let's see here. So, take out my gates. First of all, if I... Oops. No, not there. Yeah, you're also missing... You're missing light. What the heck? Okay, so... Onto there. So, engine blue, engine... Yeah. Okay, power requested. Huh. So if power requested emit redstone, would that work? Is that all it needs? So if I just, um... Yeah, if I just get a little bit of redstone dust to do a test firing of this. Just build a few more iron chipsets or something. Okay. That works. Okay, okay. So, all we need to do is we need to say when power requested, send redstone signal on all of these engines. And that'll be, that'll be enough that these will only run when they're needed. A little bit of a, you know, there's a tool to do this faster. Yeah, if I, I need to build a wrench anyway. need to build a wrench anyway, so let us do that real quick. Let us make the wrench and let us make the gate tool, whatever it's called. So that is three iron ingots and a stone gear. A little bit of cobblestone. Just in there. So wrench, gear... Make wrench, and from there, there's something called a gate. Oops. Why did that? Oh, it's because someone sent me a notification and that clicked through the window. Get Go away, notification. There. Okay. So, ah, that's going to require another wrench. Easy enough. For those... As well as three iron. And from there, 
just need to create that and that. And then I can take this over onto the laser table. I can take my iron chipsets. Take gate recipe, take all these recipes off for now and just put this in here with the chipsets and first make the gate copier and then just make the remaining gates. So gate copier. I should be able to take the gate copier and just, is it shift right click to copy and then, ah, no. Okay, so there we go. It's shift right click to clear it. So there, copy, paste, and then we can just paste on down the line. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, and yeah, it even shows that it, it, it lights up real special. So we'll put that in our logistics bag. Yeah, we'll put the wrench in there too. All right. And now we'll just see that when this last iron chipset is cooked, the lasers shut off, the power shuts off after a moment as soon as it finishes refilling the lasers. It needs to pulse for just a few seconds longer, I guess. Those lasers have quite the internal buffer, it seems. Why are you still going? There it goes. And then that shuts off, and that shuts off the fuel. Okay, cool. So that's unfortunate that we wasted so much fuel on just leaving engines idle. But we learned an important lesson. We learned a very important lesson about double checking our systems and test firing them under null conditions and making sure that all of the f resource feeds are off when you think they are off. A lesson was learned. So, 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 so. Now, throw all that stuff into my logistics bag and get back to the task of automating iron. I want that done. Oh, right, I'm gonna need more fluid pipes before I go. Want me some more fluid pipes. So I'm gonna need two fluid extractors. Gonna need more pipe sealant is what I'm gonna need. I made a mass cast of slime, didn't I? I did, I wonder where it all went. No telling. Uh, I should eventually run the blood bank over to a local tank anyway. Maybe that's what I'll replace the diesel with when it's, once it's all sucked out. Okay, so. Gonna need just a few liquid pipes. We're well, gonna need more than a few, because we're gonna need to run lava over there. Yeah. Okay, but in the meantime, we'll see if that's good enough. Alrighty then. So, the reason that I put a, a uh, drain on the front is so that I can put a gate on the pipe here. Right here. And that, I'm also gonna need another color of wire. Just leading to the extraction gate. And that gate, because it's facing a drain, should now be able to see the tank. So I'm gonna say, if you contain less than 75% tank, emit white. And now on the AND gate, I can say 
that while blue and white, and white, then the pulsar. So what this will mean is the system will shut off either when the inventory itself is full. I forgot to filter this pipe too, it seems. Get pipe out of hand. Yep, yep, forgot to refilter this pipe. So the other one is nickel, right? This one will be iron. Yep, and that's just confirming that that's working. Excellent. So there's iron, there's nickel, two great flavors that should never go together. Let's also completely move the pump jack before we forget about it. Just get it out of here. There we go. And we'll leave the pipe there. Just as a reminder that there is a liquid resource here that we want to exploit. So those can all go away into crate land. And along with that. Wait, there should be one more fence than that, shouldn't there? What is it up with fences going missing today? What's up with that? Okay. Well, it's fine. It's a treated wood fence. We'll replace it. All right, then. All right. So, 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 so. We have this filling up. Then we're going to need another drain on the back of the system. No, let's do it up on the top side. Yeah, we have the most space up here. We have the most space up here. So let's let's actually not deconstruct the system. Let's just build it up higher. Yeah, don't want the uh, don't want it just like chunking. There's the fence. Well, that's a that's a fortuitous event. All right, so 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 so, I should have some more seared brick in here, shouldn't I? I'm out. Well, I poured out some more. All right, and here is our lovely seared brick collection. Good. It's looking wonderful. Ah, uh, I had it in my bag this whole time. Ha. Oh, well. How did you get alive? Where did that creeper come from? I don't know. That's a mystery for now. Let's, let's, yes, unfortunately, I've caught creeper-itis, so I'm going to have an exploding rear end for a little while. It's fine. Creeper-itis is a actually mildly helpful disease. It gives you speed boost and resistance. But unfortunately, if you if you take any damage from explosion, even if you wouldn't normally die from it, you'll die from it. So, avoid explosions while you have creeperitis. And no, creeperitis is not the appropriate name for it. It's just what I'm calling it because it's a disease you only catch from creepers. And I can't be asked to look up the proper name. So, we have tanks up here. Then. Yep. 
if I... I apologize if that's a jump scare. Can I turn that sound down? What sound would that be? Would that be hostile creatures if I turn that down a little bit? Will that prevent explosion? All right, so, 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 so. Take my extraction pipes off of here and put pulsar on. I think these will just be always on pulsars. And yeah, I need lava. I need lava in the system to properly test fire what I'm building right now. So let's run lava over. And let's see here. Yeah, let's just run it on over. I think we're gonna run it down like the same line that the logistics line is going down. Oof. Can I mine that safely? I can. Cool. So let's just split the line like right here. It's fine. And start running lava on down the s down the line. Thankfully, I've already mostly navigated the spaghetti, so... I can just kind of run it on down, so... Hmm, we're blocking our entrance. Oh, well. Hmm. That's also going to make this... No... Turning monster sounds down did not, in fact, make that quieter. Hmm. Yeah, we can get over it. It's fine. That might be blocking. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. We'll run it and the logistics line down this way and we'll just move the torches. Torches on our hand. Yep, that'll work. Okay, logistics line right down there. Maybe I should inset this into the wall, but the wall is made of sand, so screw that. Lava line down this way. And we need more. We need lots more. Not a lot, a lot more, but we need lots more. Ugh. It's really loud in my ear, too, if that's at all reassuring. Is that player noises? You know, let's just turn... Let's just turn master volume down a little bit. That'll do it. Stupid ass creeperitis. Okay, so. Uh, where did I put. I should have more blood than this. Where did I put it? Well, let's go visit the blood bank. It's looking like it's gonna go that way. Everyone's favorite. 
shopping trip. Blood shopping. Huzzah! Yeah, it's a little bit better. <sighs> Man, real quiet day to day. What is up? Did I do something wrong setting up the stream? No, I, I got told that everyone got notifications. I guess it's just a busy day today. That's fine. It happens. I'm mostly comfortable just talking to myself and narrating what I'm doing. on down, pour it all out, and start the process. I guess that while that's happening, we can make a few more regular old gold pipes too. Just like so. Let's just make another stack of fluid pipes. That should do. God damn. And the blood does not want to cooperate. Didn't have this much trouble with it when it was all running off of a redstone signal. Hmm. I really wish I knew what was causing this behavior. Well, I'm I'm fairly certain that the uh, the auto pour is a somewhat buggy thing in the first place, so I shouldn't complain about my bugs being bugged. My ass agrees. All right, now down on into the utilidors once more. So let's first of all make sure that we're heading the right way. It seems that we are not. Yeah, we need to head this way. So, just like right there. You know what? Because that's crossing over a footpath, we'll just run this under. Like so. Yep. Now that is definitely weather that's being very loud. We can turn that down. So we'll just run that over Nya. And then run that. Over Nya. Like so. No. No, let's let's run it one down farther. So 
So all the way, oops. All the way down into there. And still oops. Where is... You know what, let's just put that down there. Yep. And there. So, down there. And then down there. And then fill in the path as best we can. Yep, that does allow a somewhat smooth path across. You know, I have building blocks on me. Yep. Oh, lovely. God is angry at us. That's just what we needed. Okay, and then the line can continue on down. Oops. Huh, are these infected? They must be infected with creeperitis. Oh boy, lag spike. Yeah, half our inventory is going to be infected now. Beautiful. Just what we needed. And we're also going to need to move the torches. Alrighty then. more run it on down just to keep the utilidors somewhat traversable no it'll have to be out here that we run that one down a messy operation we're running here. Okay, so let's run a preliminary line of how the uh, logistics line will swoop in right up to there. You know what? Let's run the fluid line up top this time. You know, we should just run them separately along the floor. Yeah, that makes more sense. Should have been doing that the whole time. Should have been doing that the whole time. Less of this having to mess around with BS. But then we can just over into there. And then just over into there. Okay, so that's connected the lava line into both systems. And now we should see it starting to smelt. And we can test and make sure that it shuts off when the liquid tank is full. So we'll leave that We'll leave that uh, doing its thing while we go run down and correct how our pipes are running. Ah, 
Ah, hello again, 12th Century Fox. I was getting lonely. Well, as you've heard, you've you've not really missed much excitement. Mostly me being a derp, as usual. Wasting resources, as usual. But yeah, let's fix this pipe spaghetti. Let's just run the damn logistics along the floor of the Utilidor. That'll be much cleaner, much easier. So, fluid pipe down there. Yep. No. <laughs> well, what's happened is um, we've reached the point that all the system needs now is lava. Yep. A little bit of spaghetti. Just a just a little al dente. This base is turning out to be. Yeah, let's just kill the whole line. Redo how this goes. So we need to run two lines on down. Oh yeah, the Utilidors are something that we've been digging for a little while. Have you not been here when we were running power systems down to like the pump jacks and stuff like that? The Utilidors have been a project that have been ongoing for uh, a while. The Utilidors are a very long-term project. Yep. Uh, no, they don't conflict with the power lines. Uh, they kind of conflict with each other and the walking space. So, I'm just kind of correcting how they're going to go. Yep, we'll have items and fluids going along the floor, power and redstone going along the ceiling and walls. That seems like a fair way to do it. And now we can start running the item line. Uh, shovel is too damn fast for my own good. And then down on here. Ah, well, welcome to the Utilidors. Uh, y you know the origin of the word Utilidor, don't you? I'm stealing it from Disney. Yes, about time. About time we crib off Disney. It's inevitable that someone does it sooner or later. Yes, in, uh, I forget if it was in Disneyland or Disney World. I think it's in all of their theme parks now, regardless. They, uh, they had a thing going on where they were, um, one of their design philosophies was... They wanted to preserve the magic. They wanted to make things look like everything was operating seamlessly. Like the world is just kind of, the world is this magical place where everything happens and you, you don't mind where the resources come from, actually. You know, you, you just kind of, things just happen. The, the baker is just there and they have all their baked goods and... The, uh, the mascots, they just kind of appear out of nowhere, you know? 
Yep, yep. Yeah. So, to preserve the magic, they didn't want, like, didn't want their mascots running around without their masks. They didn't want... Yeah, I've never been to Disneyland either. They didn't want their mascots running around, like, out of costume. They didn't want people seeing, like, the people in the parades having to take a break and take off their costumes and stuff like that. They didn't want people to see shipments of goods going into the concession stands and things like that. All the all the kind of behind the scenes stuff. They wanted to stay behind the scenes. So, they began digging out a series of utility corridors so that all their park logistics, all of their things like like uh, whenever the mascots need a break, they had break rooms built into these utility corridors. Whenever, whenever like one of the staff needed to go off and use the bathroom, they have bathrooms down there. Just everything that could possibly spoil the image of a perfect utopia where everything is great is hidden underground in these little utility corridors that are just kind of always just out of sight. They're the back doors and they're hidden just behind staging areas and stuff like that. They're very cleverly hidden. All right, and here we go. So this has been running for a little while. Oh boy, the tank is over full. Is that emitting white though? It isn't, so why not? Okay, so that is on the south side. Yeah, you should be reading that tank. Why are you not reading that tank? Hmm. I've tested this in my testing world. Yeah, and you shouldn't even be able to pulse without... Okay, well, I, I guess let's empty out the tank and then we'll see what's going on. So, 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 so. But yeah, anyway, and these things became so widely used and so uh, beloved by the staff that they eventually just shortened Utility Corridor to Utilidor. Because they were more than just Utility Corridors, you know? They, they are essentially an entire second park built underground. So, uh, yeah, that's the Utilidors. Where's all my casting tables? I built, like, 12 casting tables. Where did they go? Did I accidentally throw them out at some point? Shoot. I could have sworn... Okay, did I maybe put them in the logistics bag? No. Well... Shoot, I lost my casting table somewhere. It happens, I'm sure. Dehydration is such an issue these days. Probably because I'm sprinting everywhere. And I think that dehydrates you super quick. Yeah, I looked through those. I looked through those, man. I don't know. Really? Is that all the bricks that I have? Did I spend them all on the smeltery that quickly? Okay, that is not all the blood I have. No way is that all the blood that I have. Where did it all go? What the heck? Okay, I need to do the math on how much blood is stored in those crates and see if I'm getting enough out of it. Because I think I should have got more blood than that. Yeah. Where the heck did all my casting tables go? I don't know. Okay, well, let's... Let's just fix the problem. Let's just cast some more cobble out. 
Let's not even bother compressing it. We only gonna need like one stack anyway. But yeah, it's not in it's not in the crates, it's not in the bag. Let's also get rid of these while we're here. Mm. Yeah, well, well, I mean, everything that I craft is kind of like my children, you know? They're, they're my metaphorical children, my little babies. They're made with love. Love and care, all of them. Never mind the thousand times I've just said, let's just make a million of it and throw it all away. Never mind the, the like, it, it, yeah, my babies, totally. <clears throat> okay, just going to need a few more tables. Twelve in total. Should cast out relatively quickly. That might be enough. Not quite yet. Hmm. Yes, the loving embrace. All right, and there we go. Are those torches infected? Just throw them out. The loving embrace, so loving. Ah, shoot, we're gonna need hoppers. We're gonna need lots of hoppers. Well, it's a good thing we were back in base anyway. And for that, we're going to need lots of uh, chests. So let's just make, like, a couple. And I think we're out of nuggets. Mm-hmm. It might just happen. I have been known to derp. Levers are logistics adjacent. The good news is we've been accidentally getting a lot of sand today. Well, not a lot, a lot, but a bit. Why do I even bother with the levers on these? It bugs up so damn easily. There we go. Just craft it all on down. Yes. Accident. A happy little accident for sure. Okay, now we just need a little bit of wood. Let's make a bit. Yep. And there we go. Into there also. There. And water. So that's five, ten, fifteen. And that should technically be enough. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're just gonna need our tool rods, which are stored in here. Oh boy, we're out of those. Oh boy, we're out of those. Oh boy. Well. Yeah. Yep. Accidentally means by mistake. It do indeed. Ah, shoot, I'm gonna need pollution filters over on the new smelteries, too. Yeah, we have a little cloud of, of fart gas over there. Okay, well... This is the task that will not end. It goes on and on, my friends. All right. Take out our refractory clay. Go over here. Make us some lovely rods. Get some more copper. Lock that for now. Yep. more. I want some left over when I'm done. There, that's probably good enough for now. Ah, shoot, we've taken down our artisan tools. Well, that's quite a thing. Our, oh no, wait, wait, wait. They just snuck out as they always do. Never mind. All right, so next I'm going to need to get rid of this. And I'm going to need some glue. I'm going to need some wood. Oh boy, we are out of wood. Do I have any more in stock? A little bit. Uh, I want this to be done. All right, not enough wood. Because, yeah, I'm going to need at least 12 hoppers. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. I guess there's no choice but to wait on wood, isn't there? Yeah, we are completely out. Well, shouldn't have to wait too long. Yep, just a few more. Just a few more. We were out of wood chips anyway. We cooked them all. So... Just a few more, please. Come on, man. Jones in here. I need my logistics done. Alrighty then. You know, let's also take the rest of that out and let's put our stuff away. So there we go. There we go. And there we go. It's also you in there. And you in there. Alright. Yes, they were yummies. And yes, yummies means something different than I think it do. Ah, right. Pollution. We should make those pollution filters. Before I forget. 
Oh, shoot. We probably don't have enough iron. Yeah, we would need lots of iron for the bars. Okay, never mind. We'll just have it be a little bit stinky for a little while. And we'll shut it off pretty quick. So, 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 so. Where is the chunk line? So. Let us... Take the first six into a chest. We're going to need two chests. So. Uh, I need to move this. Need to move this. Are my crates in the logistics bag now? It should be. Okay, so, just chunk all the aluminum into here. Oh, right, the hoppers are full, too. That's going to be a problem. Because there's not enough space in this. Huh, good to know. Okay, well, let's just get as much into the crate as possible. And I guess the rest is casualties. Yeah, let's not waste another crate. It's just a little bit of aluminum. It's fine. So this system needs to go. Frankly, I probably could have just cannibalized this, too, in any case. Yep, I cooked them into yummy, yummy paste. Delicious paste, just like you ate in kindergarten. Mmm, the taste of nostalgia, I tells you. Now that can go into the local crate for this. Yep. And that's where the casting tables went. I was just blind. Huh. What do you know? Da 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 da. da. We we run a real professional ship here. So, 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 so. It's just a little bit of aluminum. It's fine. All right, so we're going to need to move this. Go into the corner and think about what you've done. All right, now we have a nice empty slate. So, six over here. Yep, it happens. So, this here. Two, three, four, five, six. And here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'll work. And from there, we can just put our casting tables on. Put our ingot cast on. And give it some pipe. Let's 
now. Let's see. Yeah, why isn't the tank control on this thing behaving appropriately? That's... Oh, it's less than 75 that it's emitting signal. Right, okay. And honestly, I think it should be 50. It should be 50 that it's emitting signal. Yeah, it's completely empty out now. So, we'll see... We'll see if that correctly controls the system. Oh, I should have realized it was working before because the system was full of uh, liquid, but it was not full of any solid stuff. Okay, you're... Why are you... What's happening here? You should be... What's going on? Okay, do you need to not input from the top for whatever stupid arcane reason? If I input from the side... Why you know? Seriously, why you know? Do Buildcraft pipes not work for this? Okay, maybe Buildcraft pipes do not work for this. I could have sworn I've done this before in a test world, though. Yeah, you're just an ingot cast, and you're just liquid iron. What is going on? No, I've done this in a test world. Well, okay, let's go get a fluid pump and let's go... Let's go get some fluid pipe. Because it's being stupid. Okay. If that's how it's going to be, that's how it's going to be. There is, but it shouldn't be needed for this. No. Yeah, there is technically, but... Eh. It, it doesn't work like that. Gold pipe should work for insertion just fine. Well, let's just... Make a couple pumps, I guess. And from there, we'll just run it on over with a couple of... I should have those redstone blocks in my bag still, shouldn't I? Yeah, I forgot to take them out. That's fine. We'll just make use of them. But yeah, that's bizarre. I've tested buildcraft pipes into casting tables in my testing world. I could swear I have. I could swear it. And yeah, these casting tables ain't full of anything already. So, uh, bizarre. Bizarre. So, put a pump down on there. And we are going to need to take our hammer, shift click it to get blue on the other side, double click it to get orange on this side, and then we should be able to just run that over here and put a redstone block on top. Okay, let's see what's, huh, okay, okay, let's try replacing our tables, maybe, 
maybe something's bugging in them and they think they have liquid in them for some reason. Am I not outputting out of this pump? Okay, let's... Let's try this with Buildcraft again. Pulsar. Into fluid pipe. Yeah, look at that. It's trying to insert into it. It's just not happening. These are ingot casts, right? Yeah, these are ingot casts. No, pump doesn't need power if it's just inputting out of a tank. Well, shoot. Okay, well, it is time for me to go anyway. So, between episodes, I am going to go into my test world, see what the hell is happening, and maybe I need to file some bug reports. Maybe the, the last patch broke some things. So, uh, this is a depressing end of the episode. We were getting so close to having automated iron. That was my big goal, what I was searching for. But, uh, yeah, something's going wrong. Something's going very, very wrong. And uh, I will have to look into it and talk to you all later. So, 12th Century Fox, thank you for stopping by. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. I'll see you later.